Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get every single huge slash titanic from the Halloween event part 2 and the chances as well. So if you guys do have enjoyed the video, then make sure to smash the like button and click the subscribe button as well because I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord server for trading, entering giveaways, and just overall want to be a part of my wonderful community, then you are more than welcome to. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's get into the huges and the chances. So the first huge bet that we're going to get right into is the one and only huge abomination. The way to get the huge abomination is by going into the Halloween event, going to area eight, and then there you will see the last and final egg. You walk over to the egg and you will see that you're able to hatch the huge abomination right here. Now the chances of hatching the huge abomination is one in 16.66 million eggs. Now if you're wondering if you can increase those odds, unfortunately you cannot. No luck game passes, huge hunter books, huge hunter game passes will change the chances of that pet. It will be a solid one in 16.66 million permanently until, well, it leaves. So the next huge pet they're going to get right into is the huge mummy bunny. The huge mummy bunny comes from the one and only gift that was added in the Halloween part 2 and that is the ghost face gift. So this is what the ghost face gift looks like and as you can see the huge bunny mummy is inside. Now the way to get the huge ghost face gift is by heading to one of the neighborhoods. It does not matter which one. You go inside by using your Halloween masks and then you can knock on one of these doors and have a chance to get the ghost face gift. Now the chances of getting a normal huge mummy bunny is 1 in 3,446 gifts. Yes. If you were to go for a gold one, it is one in 17,230 gifts. And if you were to go for a rainbow one, it would be one in 86,149 gifts. When it comes down to the chances of getting one out of those gifts, it would be insane because these gifts are very, very hard to get. You'd be lucky if you even get one gift each time you use a mask and enter a neighborhood. So the chances are definitely hard. And the next huge we're going to get into, or I should say huges, is the three brand new neighborhood huges. You're going to head to the first neighborhood, which is area six and that is the spider's nest. So this is the spider neighborhood little mini game and you have a chance for the huge tarantula. So the only way to get the huge tarantula is by coming in here and unlocking the spider's nest or the spider's neighborhood with a Halloween mask that you can get from breakables by the way. So once you use a Halloween mask, it's gonna teleport you inside of here and you have a chance to knock on these doors and get a huge tarantula. So I can just walk up to this door, open it, boom, there we go, and I get a little bit of rewards, and I have a chance of getting the one and only tarantula. There's different signs on these doors as well. You will see a times three huge chance. You'll see clear up to a times 10, which should be the max, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, those doorways will have an increased chance of getting that huge tarantula. So now you probably want to know the chances of getting a huge tarantula from one of those doorways. Well, to get a normal huge tarantula, it is one in 19,500. 113. So that is one out of 19,513 doors that you need to knock on. Now that is just with a one times multiplier. Like I said, you have three, five, ten, all those types of multipliers throughout the spider neighborhood. So if you have a one in 19,513 for a normal one for a one times multiplier, then obviously it's going to get easier as you open the doors with different multipliers. Now the chance for a golden huge tarantula is one in 97,500. 169 doors and for a rainbow huge tarantula it is one in 487,849 doors that's a lot of doors for one specific huge especially for a different variant but obviously it's not guaranteed if you open that many doors you'll get one but hey you have a good chance and it's not that bad so now that we covered the huge tarantula let's get into the huge reaper cat which is inside of the grim reaper neighborhood so same thing as before with the spider neighborhood, it is the same exact thing. So you're going to walk up here and you're going to use two Halloween masks instead of one. You're going to enter, it's going to teleport you in, and you're going to go through the same exact mini game. There's going to be different signs beside the doors that have different huge chances and the max that I've seen goes up to 10. Like I said, you just walk up to a door and you open it, knock on it, blah, 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 and you have a chance of getting that huge Reaper cat. So now that we talked about the huge Reaper cat, how to get it, pretty much where it's located, Located. let's get into the chances so the chances for the one and only huge reaper cat for the normal one it is one in 19,568 doors for the golden one it is one in 97,841 doors and for the rainbow one it is one in 489,000 
206. The odds on this huge are a lot harder than the huge tarantula itself, not by a whole lot, but if you want to go for like the golden version and or the rainbow, they're about the same. The rainbow is about 2,000 off, the gold one is about 300 off, and the normal one is just a little over 50. So the chances are not too terribly far away, but I definitely would say so far the huge tarantula is a lot easier. Now remember the huge reaper catch chances as well is only for a one times multiplier. So if you find a 3, 5, 10, all those types of multipliers, it will obviously be a lot easier, which you definitely have a good chance of finding those different multipliers. So you have a pretty good chance. So now that we covered the huge tarantula and the huge reaper cat, let's get into the last and final neighborhood huge, and that is the huge vampire dragon, which is inside of the vampire neighborhood. So same thing as the other ones, you just walk up, and instead of two Halloween masks and or one, it will be a solid three Halloween masks. So once you use your three, it's going to take you through the same exact process. So you're going to walk in here. There's going to be different signs beside the doors. You can find a three up to a 10 times chance on getting that huge a lot easier. You walk up, knock on the door, you get items, and you have a chance of getting that huge. So now that you guys know how to get the huge vampire dragon, let's get into the chances. So the chances of getting a normal huge vampire dragon is one in 19,658. To get a gold one, it is one in 98,293. And to get a rainbow one, the chances are one in four. 491,466. So obviously these chances are going to be a lot harder. And all these chances as well are a one times multiplier. So obviously if you find a three to a 10 times multiplier, it's gonna be a lot easier chances. So if you're someone out there that hasn't unlocked all the neighborhoods and wants to know how to, you can check out the video either in the description down below or in the top right hand corner. I show you how to complete every single neighborhood and unlock them all. So if you're someone that has all the neighborhoods fully unlocked and you're debating on what huge you wanna go for in the easiest chances, then I would definitely recommend going for the huge tarantula. The reason I say that is because obviously the chances are a lot easier than every huge, including every single variant, but you use the least amount of masks. If you were to head over here to the vampire neighborhood, you're going to be using three Halloween masks every single time you go for this huge, and it has the hardest chances out of them all. Same thing with the Reaper Cat. You're going to be using two masks, which are not very easy to get. A lot of people struggle to get masks. Even I struggle to get Halloween masks. So it's not super easy. And this is just not the way to go. If you want to get one of the hugest, the best huge to go for is the huge tarantula itself. You use one mask each time and it has the easiest chances out of the three. Now on to the last and final pet of the video. And that is not a huge, but it is the free to play Titanic that you can hatch right now for a limited time and that is the titanic pumpkin cat so the way to get the titanic pumpkin cat is by teleporting to the last and final area which is area eight inside the halloween event and you will see the bad boy right over here to have a chance to hatch the titanic you just walk up here and well hatch the egg and it will be inside of here now the chances of getting the titanic pumpkin cat without upgrades is one in 666 million eggs that is absolutely insane. Now, the reason I said without upgrades is because there is an upgrade machine inside of the Halloween event that you could use to your favor and increase the chances of hatching the Titanic. So if you go through here, you can buy all these upgrades until you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see better Titanic hatch chance. If you have this fully maxed out, then the chances of hatching the Titanic is one in 500 million eggs. It cuts off 166 million eggs and chances, so that definitely makes it a lot better. So if you're going to go for the Titanic, I definitely recommend going for it now because it might not actually be here in a couple days. But that's going to conclude every single huge in the Halloween Part 2 event, how to get them, and the chances of getting them as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. If you guys have any questions regarding this video and or Pet Simulator 99 in general, then please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll gladly help you out. But if you did, end up enjoying this video then make sure to smash the like button click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to never miss an upload thank you guys again so much for watching and i'll catch you guys all in the next video peace out everybody